Hello guys, good morning and thank you so much for watching this video. Yeah. So in this video, I'm going to teach you that how to create the extra information flow and why are we uh, using that. So extra information flow, uh, actually we use it when candidate applies the job. So he fills out many information many fields contact information work experience education documents he, at, he attach he attaches and so and diversity information legal information so many so many information he, he provides but sometimes you know what happens in many countries not uh, so they want to fetch further information from the candidate, extra information, which I can call it in terms of Oracle world. So in US, you know what happens? So social security number, date of birth. So that information will be fetched from candidate when they would accept an offer, but it varies from organization to organization. But in US, they share it at the later stage not at the time of they apply job but it is up to candidate whether he wants to uh, provide before or not but that's the that's the rule okay so we will not go into that rule we have to see how can we design the process as per the requirement of client so sometimes this kind of the requirement comes and there we need to use extra information and extra information flow type, you can use the uh, contact information, address, many various flows. But suppose you have to capture the values in some field which is not available in the Oracle world. So at that time, you need to create EFF. EFF, it means extensible flex field, which can be used into the extra information block and uh, that is only supported for the candidate and EFF in simple term if I, I can say that that is like a user defined field you can call it or the custom field you can call it so suppose you have created it and you have to associate this field inside the extra information block so now I hope you got it uh, overview of this uh, what are we going to do here so now I'll go to job application flow configuration. Here I'll go setup and maintenance. Recruiting and candidate experience. Here you come. Candidate job application. Oh, not job application experience. <laughs> candidate experience. Job application flow configuration. Here you click create, test, test 2, I'll take it, test 2, okay. Oh, just, yeah. Okay. So, now you can see when you are, this is apply flow type and context information is coming here. But when you select request information, it is not required. Why? Because anyway, you know, extra information, this is the flow type. It will be associated with CSP. And through CSP, at particular phase and state, wherever you are defining that, it will be triggered from there. I'll show you. Save and continue. So here, we'll create two extra okay i'll check x start on activation and here we can take this block extra information so just click here what is this context this is the eff 
you have to create it inside first sunny id let me repeat this is eff you have to create it inside person eid okay save save and activate here you can see this has been enabled and activated now we have to activate the entire flow as you can see the status is the dropped so we have to activate don't forget to activate sometimes people just they have enabled this one they will go back to csp and they will see oh they are not able to find this extra information or block or extra information flow there in csp then again they they come back to here and they come back here and they do this kind of stuff they activate this one okay so don't forget mm -hmm. sometimes you know this status uh, it should be coming here and there <laughs> right it is uh, just showing here okay so i don't like i i think it should be somewhere in the middle which should be totally visible right that's uh that's why you know so many people forget to activate that okay so now we'll go to csp candidate job application that's the right one candidate selection process configuration here we will just duplicate okay we'll create a duplicate of that just do extra i'm just taking here you can see multiple faces and each face has a uh, many states so suppose i'm taking a screening one i'll come to action and i'll go to request information i'll go to request information flow test to extra which was created just now and the notification which will be triggered from the application and candidate will receive it so which notification you want to associate you have to and when you can define the you can create notification in recruiting content library so there we'll continue i'll show you one more thing when it should be triggered it should be triggered for the only internal employees or for external or or there should be some particular conditions maybe related to some department jobs or so many complex uh, condition right so predefined condition has been given here you can select out of this one out of this or okay suppose you are selecting job application center again you can select <laughs> you can select multiple times and if it is a complex predefined condition is not working as per your requirement so you can define the complex complex condition inside the fast formula okay in so there should be a technical expert who will be creating a complex fast formula he will define it and then you can attach it here okay and you can also modify the name as per your wish just save and close and here you can see request information has been added to face screening and state to be reviewed whenever candidate will reach this state system will auto trigger this request information notification to candidate candidate will receive a link and he will log in into that link and he has to log in with the same email address through which he applied okay then he would receive confirmation code he has to enter that confirmation code and then he will be able to log in successfully and then this uh, request information extra information block what we added and that EFF will be visible to candidate 
second candidate will fill out those details. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much. Have a nice day and stay safe. Thank you.